This morning we're working on getting our water lines finished. So we have the filters in the pump house that we're getting plumbed in. We actually have two missing sprinkler heads that we have ordered, but we don't have them yet. On those two spots, we're gonna cap those off and then we'll be able to pressurize our water lines. Cross our fingers, we have no leaks. So we have the Pex B crimp lines existing. That's what we had in here previously. We are now doing Pex A and we're doing a one and a half inch line instead of a one inch line. So we had to do all these conversions here to leave our existing line, but also tie in our new line. shrink down I think and that completes our water lines and that's it but can we shut this no. oh yeah Close that. we don't want I it. thought you were gonna open the bottom one <laughs> uh. Give me a hard attack because that's all pressurized still. Yeah, we don't want to accidentally turn on the water with this open. No. That would be bad news bears. That would be bad news bears. Okay, so. So we still have to cap off the sprinkler head? Yeah. So we're drilling out for our vent lines out the front of our face. Okay, so we drilled up. Just gonna go straight out right there. Let me get a closer look. <laughs> and the sun came out over here, look at that. Okay, we got our pipes capped off. Got Teflon tape on our clean outs. As soon as we get the vent lines glued up and ran out the front, we will be ready to pressurize the system. We are going to check and see if we have any leaks. Are you ready? So, open up the, the, the spigot out there. Okay. I hear it. Oh, shoot. Oh. I don't know why that's leaking like that. Um, well, that, that shouldn't be leaking like that. At least it wasn't our fittings, right? right. Do you want me to hold that over there? That's okay. I just need to see if that, that rubber piece might not be uh, seated right. We probably need to. Ooh. I don't even see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't think that's... Oh, um, shoot. Hopefully the seals... Okay. Let's try again. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. What's your confidence level that there's going to be no leaks? Uh, 
90. I, I don't think there's going to be any leaks unless we forgot to plug a line. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think. I don't think I forgot anything, though. I went through and did everything. It's nerve-wracking. So we did just... But we do have water. What, am I, you just cutting me off? You cut me off. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Did you? Okay. Okay. So we did. So we actually have. <laughs> <laughs> do it enough. Let's stop that. Okay, so we do have water to the inside of here on our main line, yeah. which is the inch and a half line, which is pretty dang sweet. Just in case we need to drain very quickly, we'll be ready. Okay, Viejo, do you want to go upstairs? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go slowly with this, okay? Here we go. You got water coming up. Do you see it? Yeah. Is there any air coming out of that or water? I don't, I haven't heard anything yet. I don't think we're there yet. Oh, I hear it now. Oh yeah. Close that a little bit. Just right there. Let me, let me check make sure that water. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming through there. Okay, I'm gonna open it a little more. these come shut off already uh -huh. was both of them coming out yeah, yeah this one is that one yeah cool. <laughs> um maybe we just get plugs for those then okay and just do that well everything else looked good though right sweet that's shut off there okay so thomas went up and shut the shower valves so hopefully now we are fully closed I think we're good. We're hustling water out there. Nice work on the water lines. We moved the hose upstairs to the laundry room. We're connecting here to try and get air out of the lines up here. your dad for the tool and then you got it okay so this is a special glue uh, to attach ABS to PVC it smells like ABS glue that's a nice color well, well you took too long he always does that to me <laughs> he says go get it yourself next time This really is not going to see any daylight or even turd light. This is just a spacer. So then this goes on the inside of that. Using so. using this small piece of four inch ABS that we already had on hand saved us about $50. 60. 
$60. Stick a pipe. And they don't sell four inch uh, short sticks either. Right. Okay, I'm gonna press down in there. Yeah, that's good right there. Oh, I need the girl. Yeah, okay. Thomas is wrapping up the outlet for the fan in the laundry room, which is right there. That just needs a cover on it. That'll be done. Then we'll silicone around our vent there. That vent comes from the laundry room. And then we're done with this side over here. We were hoping to get some more house wrap on today, but it's a little too windy. So we're gonna wait for another day. Calculated, and I ended up drilling a hole to the left side on accident and I had to put one on the right. Oh really? Is that what happened? Well, luckily it was there because I forgot my phone in there. And after I put that pipe on, my hand doesn't fit in there because I was using my phone as a light. <laughs> so, so, no. you, so you couldn't find your phone. And... So then I started doing this. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it was in the socket? And the flashlight was still on in the socket. <laughs> so then I had to drill that hole to get my phone out. That's hilarious. Joke's on me. Good thing you have a watch. I you know. may never have found your phone. Well, I knew. I, I was looking around in the different ones, and then I saw the light. Uh. And the light helped me. We are going to plumb into this so that we could fill up our water lines. Because our sewer lines are completely finished. We're gonna test them out. So this whole contraption here will end up cutting off after all the lines are pressurized and we pass inspection. This here is a hose thread. We'll just screw our hose into this. Fill the whole system up with water. And we'll probably do that today, right? After this sets up? Yeah. We're not going to cut the little water line. Where's Well, we're about to pressure test our sewer lines, right? Huh? Yeah. What's your confidence level with this? I have no clue. <laughs> Maybe. I think we'll be good. We're 50-50. 50-50? Okay. okay. This says it wants 30. Okay. No, 35. So we got this. Seals off right there. Yep. So no water will get down into the into our sewer lines. Oh yeah. So those are not going to be pressure tested. 
We'll see if they figure that out. You know what we could do is do those separately. We could just put water in the top. I mean, it won't be 10 feet, but. Yeah, do, do uh, just so that not as much gushes out. For the inspector. Okay, mm. water's on. So these ones are gonna fill up first. gonna take a lot of water. I know. This should already be somewhat full. It's full. No leaks here. Liz, you should start seeing it here soon. Okay. Oh, I hear, I hear yeah. air coming through yeah, there. Yeah, watch that. Oh, there it comes. All right, I'm gonna go shut go off. Okay. Look at that. Hey, no leaks. Hey. What a release. Whew. That's awesome. Well, hopefully they pass code now. Right. <laughs> I just want to take a second. Uh -huh. Your water lines had no leaks. Uh -huh. Your sewer lines, no leaks. Nice work. Yeah. Everything happens when the inspector's here. So, <laughs> so you're going to have a line pop while he's here? Yeah. No, I think you killed it. How did it look coming out of there? Good. Yeah, just yeah. flowing out? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Let's uh yeah, let's leave it let's leave the water in the line and then leave that yeah. box ready. That was the one what? Yeah, was, uh, what happened? Oh it's two inch, so we'll be okay. What's stripping? It's my vent line that goes up. I remember that was the one we had tension in and I twisted it. I remember I felt it twist one more time on the bottom and it, it's it is dripping. It's got a drip. I knew it. I had a feeling when I was doing it that that, was, that happened. So I see a drip there, but where is it coming from? This, this vent line up here, up at the top, right here, it's coming from up top of the, uh, this. Oh, so okay. basically I'm gonna cut this right here, cut this right here, get a new one of these, mm. um, and basically redo this vent line. Dang, that sucks. Mm -hmm. And we just returned all our extra fittings. Bummer. And that's the, that's that shower one. <sighs> okay. Okay. I had a feeling. Mm. Cause when I was, when I, when we had twisted it, when I was twisting on the 90 that goes over, I had twist, I accidentally twisted this and it twisted down below and we had just finished gluing that not that long ago and that release right there, mm. right after gluing it, that's all it takes. So let's release this. We had one leak, very small leak in our septic system. It was in the vent line that goes up to the shower. So we're fixing that. Last night we ran to the hardware store, got everything we needed, except our main Y that we need to replace. <laughs> so Victor's running to Home Depot. He's gonna grab that piece for us. And then our septic lines will be completely done.
we're gluing this together now. We're fixing my mistake that I had made, which it happens, yeah. you know. It was just a very small leak in a vent line, so. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, one coupler. It really probably wouldn't have ever caused any issues, but for testing purposes, it has to be perfect. We'll measure from here. So I'm gonna slide this one all the way on, get it on there. And then, and then I'll slide this back over. Is this as many joints as you've ever done at one time before? Oh yeah. So now, we're gonna do this. This needs to be extra gluey. We're at the bottom of the glue barrel. Need this. Looks good. I hope I got it kind of split here, at least close. Yeah. It's I, a think, I think I got it all the way in over here. It's a slip fitting there in the middle, so there's some wiggle room. Nothing we could do now except wait for it to dry. And then we'll those, test it. Yeah, those slip joints. I don't... It's hard to know where you're at. Right, well, I know where I'm at there, but I just sometimes don't know if there's enough glue on there uh, to seed it, but... We will see. We're gonna find out. I had one leak with our sewage line which I had to fix that, which that's done now. I have to test it still. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but all in all, hopefully everything uh, seals up and I don't have to redo it again. <laughs> so here we go. Our electrical inspection is separate from our plumbing inspection. The inspectors showed up within a couple minutes of each other. So I'm trying to get up there with both kids. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs>